Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do what I got for my birthday. Because my birthday was Sunday, depending on when you watch this. It could have been like, you know, years ago. Who knows? But I turned 26, and in true birthday fashion, I made myself a Bloody Mary. Because, why not? My cat. So let's jump right into it. If this isn't something that you'd like to watch, please just click out of the video. Um, but if you'd like to see what I got for my birthday, just keep watching. So the first thing that I got, I'm just gonna, I got it early because I saw them, wanted them, asked my boyfriend for them, and he got them for me. His birthday was the day after mine. So I did the same thing for him. He wanted something, I got it. And then he just got it early. Um, they are a little bit covered in cat hair because my cat is a beast um, but they are the Miley Cyrus Converse I just loved the black ones I like how they have the bandana print I like how they have the little Miley Cyrus um, little metal head and I just I really love them I think they're so stinking cute so these are like my new favorite shoes I've never had Converse before I'm strictly a Vans girl but I think I can make an exception because I just freaking adore Miley Cyrus. She's just like my favorite person. My cat is really distracting me. <laughs> In every video since I got him. Such a distraction. Um, then I'm just going to jump to the things that I got myself because Vera Bradley every year um, they have my email so they always send me a coupon for my birthday because I love very proudly, like I love it. So I was like, yeah, hell yeah, I'll be on the birthday list. So they gave me 25% off, and you can use it in the outlet store. So I went to uh, Rent Them Outlets in Massachusetts, and I got two things because the entire store was 50% off plus 20%, except if you had the birthday coupon, it was plus 25 instead of plus 20, which is awesome. And on top of that, if you went on the 23rd, which is the day before birthday you got like a free little in-store birthday gift so I thought that was pretty awesome so I got myself a computer bag I just really really love this print I think it's just really nice it's padded I've never had a computer bag from my Mac before so I thought what the hey I'm not even like I don't travel with my computer so I thought I would get something like this that way when I'm at home I don't have to like leave it around I can just stick it in here and I feel like it's protected and then the other thing I got for myself was a new purse because I felt like I had a purse from ASOS and it was just getting a little bit worn. There were some stains on it and I just couldn't bring myself to like want it anymore. <laughs> That's horrible. But it was like this pretty like pale pink color and it was a crossbody. I really liked it but it was kind of small so I went a little bit bigger and I got this Vera Bradley purse. It has a strap so it's a crossbody where you can just do it over one shoulder but it's got a twist lock and the inside has like this very first pocket and this is actually the birthday gift. I haven't put anything in it yet but it's a little coin purse and I thought this print was really cute. There's a big pocket to choose from. Um, but then it also has a front zipper that opens up into even more storage space, which is really nice. I've already transferred everything over, as you can see, it's pretty full. And then there's just this small pocket in the back that you can slip, like, your phone in or receipts or anything just really, like, thin. I would never be able to put my phone in there. It would, like, stick out like a sore thumb and just asking for someone to, like, take it out of there. So that's what I got myself for my birthday. I always try to buy myself like one or two things because I feel like why not treat myself a little bit on my birthday. Next let's go to what my mom got me for my birthday. So this is only $20. I know because like I picked it out. Okay. Oh. But it comes with this little dish that it sits on. This is what the tea steeper looks like. So you just put the tea in here. I you, I use the bag sometimes or I just put the, it loose straight in there. It's just a little harder to clean when it's loose tea. And then you pour the boiling water in there. You wait however long you're supposed to wait for that particular tea that you're making. 
and then you put it over a cup full of ice and the bottom pushes in and it drains into the cup. She also got me, they always have these really great like samples at David's Tea and they had one called Apero Spritz and this is something that you can actually, they said that you can um, mix in like alcohol with it but I didn't, I just, I don't know what kind would go with it. So this one was really delicious. It says it's um, a fruit infusion, a sweet, vibrant, and lightly bitter orange blend inspired by our favorite aperitif. Um, it has candy, pineapple, apple, orange, beetroot, lemon, passion fruit, sunflower petals, pomegranate seeds, natural and artificial flavoring. So, um, but I was very excited about that. She got me a little, um, I want to say a little sachet, but it's just a little pouch of loose tea. So I'm going to use that with the sticker because I love this tea so much. And I do have some gin, so maybe that would be good for that. So I also got from my mom a pair of really beautiful work pants. I love these. People are going to tell me I look so patriotic in these, but I just, I really love the print. I like the colors. I have a shirt that would go really nicely with it. And they're cropped. So they, they fall right about mid-calf. And that's perfect for work. I can't do anything shorter. And it's getting really, really hot. So I needed something that would be nice and cooling. So I got these. Loved them. Okay. Next, uh, let's go with what TJ's mother got me. She's just the sweetest thing. I love her so much. I, we had a, um, kind of like a swing, almost, like a bench swing in the backyard that we took down because it was rotting, and we didn't like it anyway, and it had a wind chime, and I was like, oh, I really like that wind chime, I'll just keep it, and then I noticed that it was broken anyway, so we just threw it out, and she knew that I wanted a wind chime, so she got me this one, and it's really cute, it's got like a little hummingbird and flowers up here with these really beautiful, like, colored wings, and then... The bottom is the chime part with these really nice, like, the glass beads. I love this. I think it's so great. It's going to go really, really nicely in my garden. So, very excited about that. And then she also got me this really cute, um, it's like kind of like a plaque. And it says, a house isn't a home without a cat. And I'm, like, all about my cat now, so this is just, like, perfect. And it's going right on my mantle because it's so cute until I can find, like, an even better place for it. Like, I... I have no idea, but the mantle seems like a good place for this. And then finally, she's so sweet. She got me a Home Goods gift card because I love shopping at TJ Maxx. And I can't remember where else she said I could use this, but I always just go to TJ Maxx and I have a Home Goods right in there. So I thought this was really, really nice. She just went like above and beyond, I feel like. She's like the best. Okay. I feel like there's a lot. My friends spoil me like crazy. Um, so I'm going to start with my, out of all my friends, I'm going to start with my closest friend, Michelle. Uh, I've known her since like first or second grade. She uh, didn't go to, she didn't go to kindergarten with us, but um, so the first thing, it's not in the box anymore, it's on display. She got me the Funko Pop snow white um little figurine and it's so cute and you can even get like the dwarves and things which i mean i'm i might not get the witch but i think i might like dopey sneezy sleepy bashful oh my god almost all of them <laughs> i kind of i think they're so cute but this was really adorable and i like to put things like this in my bookcase as bookends so it's on display for everyone to see, which I love. Next, she went for kind of like, she did like two themes. She did Snow White, and she also did like watermelons, which I thought was really cute. And she saw this little hand soap, and it's in the shape of a watermelon, and the back looks like, like the back of a watermelon. It's so cute, and I even opened up and smelled it. It smells so delicious. I can't wait to use this. And I was like, I was like Michelle, are you trying to tell me something? Do I need to like have more soap in my bathroom or something like but no I think it's really nice I love the little um container and it's just so stinking cute I love it keeping with the watermelon theme she got me this bag that you can travel with 
and it's called a wet dry bag and you can put pretty much anything in it. You can go to the beach, you can put electric accessory accessories in it, um, pretty much anything. It's got this nice strap so you can connect it to your luggage or on the inside of your luggage and the lining is really nice as well. It's that like waterproof lining so if anything leaks it's not going to get everywhere. So I really love this bag and I think the print is so cute. The last watermelon themed thing. Um, it's this really cute note paper. It says stuff to do across the top. It's got watermelons around it and I'm going to stick this right on my fridge and use it as a shopping list because it's so hard to keep track of like what you need to buy for food and things so when you and if you don't have a list and you go to the store and suddenly you're buying the entire store and it's like five hundred dollars where did your money go and then you get home and you didn't get anything that you needed so this is going to be so perfect for me because i'm so disorganized and then going back to the snow white theme she got me this really cute bag it's the poison apple from snow white and i just think it's adorable i think she got a hot topic yeah and it's Disney themed and we love Disney. We're like Disney fanatics. And I say that and I've only been once because the one time I went was two years ago and it was like the first time I'd ever gone and I just fell in love. So we're doing it every two years or trying to. It's just like a very like spacious bag. I can see myself using this like around Halloween. Um, I would even put my makeup in here and travel with it because it's like it's roomy and I feel like a lot of things would fit in here. It'd be really cute. I love it. I think it's so cute. And I'm obsessed with like the metallic red and it, the sparkly green. It just feels really nice. I don't know. It feels like nice. The next thing she got me, I laughed because I swear to God she's like a mind reader sometimes. So I was filming a video. It was my birthday lunch get ready with me. And I was like holding on to like one of my makeup like compacts I had a mirror and I was like god I really need a hand mirror now I didn't actually say that in the in the video and I, she doesn't watch these videos anyway um but she got me a hand mirror and I'm trying to play like, uh, so she got me a hand mirror and I was like how funny is that how did you know I needed a hand mirror I almost bought one like the, oh, the week before she gave this to me and the back is the face in the mirror from Snow White which I think is really cute so when I'm in my videos and I'm using my new hand mirror and it's really good like it's really nice the mirror is like crazy good quality it's like heavy and hefty it's so great I kind of feel a little bit like Tati with this because she always has like the fancy hand mirror it's okay <laughs> I just I do oh I forgot this also um was with the gifts that she got me. We're huge Sailor Moon fans. She's a she's a much bigger Sailor Moon fan than I am. I never like um, I haven't read all the manga. I haven't watched all the anime. But we'd go to see the movies when they um, get released in theaters sometimes. And she gave me this cute little sticker. I never use stickers. I just really like to hold on to them. So I have all the Sailor Scouts, which I think is really nice. And then ah, she's oh she is kind of like a mind reader to be honest. Because I have always wanted to try this um, Smith's, R.S. Smith's, I think it's just Smith's, the Smith's brand um, salves. So I already opened the strawberry one, it came with three, so there's strawberry, and I thought this was like the summery scent. You can smell it through the packaging, like it's insanely strawberry, like it's delicious. But so I've already opened this one, and I really liked it. Uh, and then it also came with minted rose and the rosebed itself. And the original, apparently you can use it on like anything. So the original, this is the original and only rosebud salve and may be used as an all-purpose skin preparation. I don't know what that means preparation, but I'm assuming you can use it on all your dry spots and patches. and. It's very, I just, I really like it. And these other ones specifically say lip balm. So, and it came in this really cute tin, which I thought was just so cute. But I was like, how did you know I've always wanted to try this brand? I was like, I've heard such good things. And she was like, I've heard good things too. That's why I got it for you. I was like, two mice. Um, but so that was everything that she got me. And I just like, she's always spoiling me. Like, she's so sweet. Um, I love everything that she gets me. She knows me so stinking well. It always kind of like raises the bar too, because I'm like, I need to get something really good for her for her birthday. I got six months to figure it out. Mm. 
I love Bloody Marys. I think I would literally just drink the juice. It does say on the bottle you can drink it just as a regular drink. I'm getting down to it. I got two more friends. So my friend Nicole is a florist. And she probably got these from work, but these really cute um, balloons. One says happy birthday, and the other two are little happy faces. And I, I love the green one. I think it's so cute. When I saw her across the street, because we went to a bar, I was waving, but she didn't see me because the blue one in front of her face, and it looked like it's her face. It was just really funny. Um, speaking of the bar that we went to, it was so sweet. I've never been to a bar that's done this before. Um... I mean, we had balloons, and I had birthday presents, so it's like they knew it was my birthday, but they came out with this really cute card. It says, cheers, thank you for sharing your special occasion with us, and it, it's like they printed these out themselves because the little, um, little mugs on the side say PJ's Pub, and it says PJ's Pub, food and drink, established 2008, Paul John and the PJ's crew, and then it lists like where they are, and then up top. And I don't know if, I don't know if they wrote their names in, or, because it's all the same handwriting, so one person at one point must have written all the names, and I'm not sure if they did that and then they just copied it, but I think that's awesome. So they have, like, literally everyone who works there, like, has signed around the happy birthday. I thought that was really cool. Now, like I said, it's all the same handwriting, so one person wrote all that, and then it was probably copied. But maybe not, because that kind of looks like Sharpie. Yeah, one person probably just wrote all the names for everyone and then wrote happy birthday. I think it's so cute. And then she brought us around to birthday shots, which was really nice of them. And they were so attentive. I freaking love PJ's Pub. It's There's only two locations, one in Grayson, one in Johnston. And I just, I love it. The wings are delicious. Like, it's um, so if you're in Rhode Island, you should definitely check it out because they are phenom. Next, we'll move on to my friend Christine. She got me a couple of things that are really cute. She got me this Paper Love small desk set, and I recently got promoted, so I have an office with a desk, and it's really cute. It's got this uh, note paper, and it has some marbling over the top. Um, there's these, I'm assuming they're push pins. I'm, I'm willing to bet they're push pins. I haven't even opened this yet. Aha, got it open. So it comes with two pens, and they're kind of glued in there, so I'm not going to like really take them out. But so we've got two pens here. Then they have these little like gold clips, which I think are really cute. I do not know what I'm going to use those for. Because anything that we clip usually goes like out of the office, and I'm like, I don't want that to <laughs> leave my office. Then the note paper and what are these? Just magnets, I think. Very cute. Yeah, they're just magnets, but I love them. They're so cute. One says to do, one has polka dots, one has a little gold line, a little plus sign, and then a grid. And it's just, I really like it. I think it's really classic. So, could not be more excited to use this. She also got me this. Um, Tropic Lake is Hot Makeup Brush Cleaning Pad in the shape of a pineapple. She she said the, the funniest thing last night. Um, she was like, you're so easy. It's either cats or pineapples. And I was like, yep. Yeah, you're not wrong. So it's kind of a little bit like um, the Sigma ones, but it's just not Sigma. And it's a pineapple instead of like a pink glove thing. So she also got me this pink rose pink rose or pink rose sugar scrub and it's so cute because it's got a cat with a flower crown and i'm like oh, i wish i could do that to leo but he's a boy so he wouldn't appreciate that um and then i didn't actually realize it was open oh it's not open but i thought it had a seal around the edges and the smell it last night but can't smell it through the seal but i already have a sugar scrub open so i'm gonna finish that one before I move on to this one, but I think the tub is so cute. I actually might like rinse this out when it's all done and use it for something else because it's so cute. Like why would I throw the container out? I'm such a, I'm such a hoarder. <laughs> Next she got me um, this really cute mug and I like, that's another thing, cats, pineapples, or mugs. 
they're like the three things that you can get me and I will be so happy. But this says, all I want is to sip my coffee and pet my cat. And it's so true. And it's got little paw prints around the edges. It says it on both sides. And it's so cute. I cannot wait to drink my coffee out of this. And just pet my cat. It is so cute. I'm so excited to use this. And like, do I need more mugs? Probably not. But do I want them all? Yes. So moving on to my friend Nicole that got me these lovely balloons. She got me a couple sheet masks. So... Well, one sheet mask and then a different kind of mask. Um, this is a cucumber sheet mask. It says, okay, cucumber sheet mask. And the rest of it's in a different language. Um, it's a common cooling made in Korea. And I've always wanted to try, like, the Korean brands. So I thought that was really cute. It says, made in Korea, especially for you. Liven up your beauty regime with this okay face mask. Um, yeah. You just put it on. Relax for 10 to 20 minutes, remove it, and then massage the rest into your skin. Oh, and this is no rinse necessary. It's cucumber, so I'm assuming it's going to be really nice and soothing. Because sometimes I'll use a face mask and it's just too harsh, so I'm really excited for this. And then, this is also by the brand OK, and it's a fruit enriched peeling foot mask. And I actually have always wanted to try a foot mask. I have really, really dry feet. So... This says, wow, you put it on for one to one and a half hours. That's intense. And then you rinse off anything else. And then your feet start to peel within four to six days. Allow it to peel naturally. Do not peel off. Interesting. That freaks me out and excites me at the same time. Because I'm like, I'm going to have really soft feet. But I hate it when my feet peel. So I thought it was going to be like an immediate thing. That'll be interesting. For sure. I'm excited to try it. I don't know what is what is up with my friends reading my minds, but she got me this Tea Forte little like gift set box, and it says Beloved Blends, five of our favorite blends, the perfect introduction to Tea Forte. And the inside looks like this, it's got little like triangular tea sachets, and I'm sure there's only like one in each one. Oh, but you know what, they come with two of each flavor, so that's nice. So. They have English breakfast, white ginger pear, green mango peach, African solstice, and raspberry nectar. That sounds really delicious. And I was literally going to buy like a full tin of tea from this brand when I was on vacation because we went to um, the Common Man restaurant and they sell this tea like $2 a cup and I forgot all about it and I was going to get it. Um, and then I turned the menu over when I was really leaving. I was like, of course, I forgot that they had this. So... Then didn't get it. But they sell it in the gift shop, like the Common Man Country Store, but I still refrain from buying it, and then she got me this. It's a win-win situation. And then, <laughs> they're so funny. You had me at Meow, another mug, except this cat looks just like my cat. I'm very excited, because I, I have an orange cat. He's big like that, so. So cute, I love it. And like I said, I cannot have enough mugs. <laughs> Okay, that is, I think, everything I have gotten for my birthday this year. I had a really good birthday, except for the fact that I turned 26. Um, hmm. I just got an email from my work friend. All caps, are you off today? Because I was on vacation last week, I was off on Monday. I had work on Tuesday, and now I'm off again today, so I just think it's really funny because, like, I'm, like, not at work anymore. Just, I've never. Aside from the fact that I turned 26, I'm older than a quarter of a century. Other than that, I had a really good birthday. I just, it was just an overall good experience. On my actual birthday, I went out to eat with my parents and TJ's parents, it was really nice. And last night we went out for drinks, and that was really nice. So overall, I just had, like, the best birthday ever. And then I tried to make TJ's birthday nice as well. I made him dinner, which was really sweet of me, I know. <laughs> so cute. Um, but yeah, that's everything I got for my birthday. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you like these kinds of videos. I only do this kind of video once or twice a year. So once for birthday, maybe once for Christmas. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye!